Hi, this is Linda Rogers from Planning Within Reach. Clients are sometimes confused at why they have to pay tax on capital gain distributions for a mutual fund when they didn't sell any shares. So the reason is that that mutual fund that you hold may still be buying and selling positions and they may have had redemptions and they have to pass those realized gains onto you, the shareholder. So these distributions are in a complete surprise Mutual fund companies will typically post their preliminary distributions in the fall, and you can go ahead and evaluate if that information is helpful in terms of potentially selling the fund before the distribution comes. So even if you held the stock all year, if you sell before that distribution comes out, you do not have to pay tax on that phantom income. It doesn't mean that you should sell that fund before the distribution comes, it's just that if you are perhaps in a portfolio of active funds and you are trying to transition to index funds that are have lower turnover, tend to be lower cost, and that's kind of where you're going anyway, it might just be the information that you need to decide which of your active mutual funds you're gonna sell this year. So let me go ahead and just show you quickly how to do an evaluation on that. Okay, so this is the 1099 div, and I just wanted to show you that because this is where you would see those total capital gain distributions. So again, these are not, um, it's not gonna be money that you generated from selling a position, but it is the capital gain distributions the fund will pay out. Here's an example of a year-end distribution uh, report. This one's from Vanguard from 2019, of course. So you can just go ahead and look up which fund you have. So I'll just do an example for selected value. So here it is. And it tells me the approximate distribution, 6.06% .06 of NAV. And the X div date is 12 17 2019. So then you can go ahead and look at your position. So let's just say you've got 850,000 of selected value. Your basis is 825. Option one is just to hold the fund and receive your distribution. So what is the um, distribution amount that you're gonna get? So you're gonna take that 6.06% .06 that was in the report, put that in your spreadsheet, and it gives you an approximate value of what the distribution amount will be. If you do not want to get this distribution and you were gonna sell out of this anyway, if you sell by um, the day before the X div date, so 12-16, you will avoid that distribution. These capital gain distributions are taxed at long-term capital gains rates. At regardless of how long you held the position. That's just the way the IRS does it. So you'd enter in the appropriate percentage for you, and if you get hit by the Medicare surtax, you're gonna take that into account as well. So option two is to sell the fund, and you, again, don't want to just sell a fund to avoid the distribution. You need to look at the full picture. So in this example, there would be a gain by selling the fund. So that taxable gain would again be hit by either short or long-term capital gains rates, whatever is appropriate, and you'll pay tax on that sale. So now you have the information that you need to be able to do an evaluation. In summary, your choices are to pay tax on the distribution when it comes out or to go ahead and sell and pay um, $6,000 on that gain. So you could potentially save $6,000 but again, this needs to be part of the bigger picture. Are you planning to get out of this fund anyway? Or you have a list of active funds and it's just looking for which one you should sell and when. The other thing you want to take into account is that if you are going to be selling the, these proceeds, where is the money going? Because if it's going right into another fund that has an even bigger distribution, you just want to take that into account. In this particular example, I have it going to an index fund that has lower turnover, more tax efficient, and actually has no planned distribution. So really, you would be netting $6,000 if you went ahead and executed this strategy. So make sure that you work with someone who understands the investment side of things as well as the tax side of things. Don't just sell out to avoid the distribution, but it may be helpful just to know that these distributions aren't a complete surprise and it's something that you can incorporate into your planning. I'm Linda Rogers from Planning Within Reach.